Oh, hello. Southfield has a vibrant restaurant scene, and you can check out nearly two dozen of them all in one place. That's right. Coming up on Tuesday is the 11th annual Taste of Southfield, and here to tell us all about it is Tanya Marcofano from the Chamber of Commerce and Chef Alan Flint from Tango's at the Westin Hotel. Thank you both for being here. We Good morning. appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you. Let's begin with you, ma'am. Tell us about Taste of Southfield and how what's going to happen on Tuesday. Sure. It's our 11th annual Taste of Southfield, uh, presented by Kroger. Uh, we'll have 20 restaurants, live entertainment, cash bar. Uh, the folks who attend will have an opportunity to vote for the best restaurant. So they taste, sample. $20 ticket will give them samples to all 20 restaurants. So it's an uh, inexpensive way to entertain a lot of people if you so choose to. Uh, there'll be non-food vendors there selling products as well. Uh, and part of the proceeds will go to benefit Making Strides for Breast Cancer. All right, because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Indeed. And it starts at 5 o'clock, 5 to 8, the Town Center Atrium, which is a beautiful place. It is. That's great well. venue. All right. What do you say? You want to cook some? Uh, what are we cooking up here, Chef? This morning we have a gluten-free um, French toast. Okay. And we use a corn-based um, muffin, English muffin. And it's dredged in uh, egg mixture and... Orange juice. You've really sopped that up. How long was that in there for? It needs to sit at least an hour if it's thawed out. Oh, really? see? But overnight, um, you could take the frozen English muffins and dip them in the batter and leave them sit overnight. And then all we're just going to do is just fry it up. We're going to add some Michigan cherries that we have right here and okay. some bananas. And then on top of it, we're going to put just a little bit of maple syrup. And That's we have some fresh blueberries and fresh raspberries to go on top. Well, walk us through this part because the, the one thing that you can do easily is you don't want to burn French toast. Burn our French toast. Yeah. So, so you know, what, you on, what kind of heat are you on there? Um, we're on about a medium heat. We okay. want to make sure that it stays nice and doesn't brown too much. But we want to get that golden color to it. So we should be good right here. So um, I, I have sampled some of the, the gluten-free offerings out there. And um, some are nice and some... Uh, you have to be, you have to choose. Some of them, you're right. They can get a little bit dry, but this product right here we found is, is very nice. Now, is this commercially available or you guys have this a special? This is a um, Glutano um, English muffin. Okay. And you can find it in the freezer section. I picked these up at Whole Foods. Okay. Um, and there's a bunch of different ones in there, but this one really turns out nice. It's not dry at all. It, um... <laughs> they play a lot of football this weekend, huh? They look like Check them out. And they are very good. Oh. Well, it stays nice and moist, and, they, and that's mm -hmm. the important thing. Most people get the dry product like you're talking, and then they don't like the gluten-free product. But this turns out really well. Well, you have, it, 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 we have butter in here, right? Yeah, this is a soy-based product, which is a butter flavor. Oh, okay. So anybody that can't eat the butter mm -hmm. works right along well with that. So. Okay. Get a lot of people who are dairy free right. as well. Lots of uh, health concerns to take and into account. And at the Western, we find that we are having a lot more people that are have allergies and things like that. So we take that in consideration, or watching for that at every meal. Can we can we show one more time uh, just the, all the information on your screen, if possible? So if you guys want to enjoy this, uh, you can certainly go out and have some fun. It's uh, it's Tuesday, October six, from five to eight, Town Center Atrium. There you go, and we'll plate this up. All right, we will do just that. And the Fox Business Report is next, so stick around for that. And as we say, bon appetit on a Friday. Nice, that was fantastic. Got the taste of Southfield. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.